So in Street Fighter 6, you could take photos of anything. If you want to go into the photos, then obviously there is a few customizable tactics. Then there's two ways to go into it. So the first way is pressing back onto your telephone or onto your iPhone, whatever you want to call it. And there is camera on the bottom left. That is one way that you can go into it. If you want to go into it the quicker way, which is the way that you'd know if you have done missions, is if you press or hold RB, oh no, LB, you'll see it in the general shortcuts. If you want to see the shortcuts, obviously they are in the shortcuts menu on the phone. But if you go into camera, you then can obviously move the camera around. You can zoom up. You can obviously use this as well to look kind of round corners a little bit if you don't necessarily want to go around it but there is a lot of different uh, kind of modes and ways that you can use this camera so there is two different camera modes as well you've got the mission camera mode or just a generic photo for yourself the work or the mission one will be displayed once you click onto the camera and normally like i say it will mainly be in the missions and i think i've had to do it like six seven times so far and that is about it in terms of this one then, so you've got a lot of different options that you can go with and they're all down the bottom. So obviously, if you go next to somebody, if you press in your analog, you can actually change their image of how they're posing, which could really, really change the photo, which is really, really cool. If you want to obviously kind of zoom in a little bit more, then obviously if you drag it back and you press the other analog in, as you'll see, it will reset the camera almost. And I think all you have to do is tap it. And obviously with the left stick, it is just changing the NPC poses. You obviously have to be close to somebody for that to happen. The LT and RT will raise the camera, uh, what, camera depth? No camera height i'm thinking and obviously the right hand side of the analog will basically move it round if you move the cursor we can have a look at obviously this different thing so if we wanted the hood off obviously you can utilize it there if you know what you're doing x again will bring it back on y will reset anything that you've changed here so obviously if we change the brightness down all the way down then obviously if we press y it will change that with obviously the hood display you've got rotation which again can be cool for a total 180 you've got the brightness as we saw from the one below you obviously can go up as well you can obviously add your own contrast as well so say you want to make it really dark you can obviously change the photos and brightness there a little bit of playing will have that down we have selfie mode which will obviously bring you closer and obviously there you can see yourself moving around which is really cool again if you can change the pose you can get some really good ones with that. Obviously, turning it off, it will give you the photo. So again, I believe if you went back out of it and then back into it. So if we go back into it now, you can see yourself without the phone. Obviously, you've just got to back out if you do that. RB will change the angle of the view, which again will bring you further out. That is obviously depending on what, how far you want. Focus and distance. So if we zoom all the way out, you will also see the focus distance. And you should notice... If you go a little bit less, in fact, I don't even know that one, actually. Uh, so, I mean, I suppose, do I see anything else? I don't really see too many changes of that, but maybe the uh, the better monitor you have, there might, there might be a bit of a change there. Same with the depth field. We have the film grain then. Obviously, that will just make it grainy. And then we have some blur, which I believe should, if we take off this, should show that little bit more of a blur onto it, if I'm right. Maybe not. Okay, some of these might not work anyway. You've got avatar. You can obviously turn on and off, which is cool. You can have the expression. You've got a few different ones you can utilize yourself. Obviously, then you also have your poses. So if you want to change, that was just, that, that wasn't even, yeah, that, that wasn't even filmed properly. Then obviously, we've got the different horizontal or not. We can rotate our avatar. So if you wanted to go next to him, then obviously you can use that as well. Really, really cool options if you wanted a good photo. We then have color. So if again, Obviously, you can, like any filter, you have got a lot of different options that you can go with. You also then have the effect of it as well, then combined with a different color. You obviously have a few different ones you can kind of change around here. Obviously, as well, you can have the effect strength. So you can kind of just put that little bit on there. So as you can see, it will only change them slightly compared to the 100%, which is always nice as a customizable feature. We then finally have stickers and logos. So you do unlock these as you go through the game. So you naturally will get more and more. And obviously, you can make them as big and as small as you want to go. Say if you wanted it to go on your, your shorts or something, I'm assuming, yeah. RB will made uh, will enable you to rotate it and you could just fit it on the leg nice and easy and I think there we go 
Obviously, then, if you wanted to go for something a bit bigger with, like, the logo, you can obviously make the photos, and it's easier than doing a thumbnail. You can obviously have borders as well. There is a couple that you can get. Obviously, again, with these, that's really cool. That is actually really sick, so that's nice. But obviously, you can uh, change it all how you like, and you will get more throughout the game as you unlock all the other different crates and, obviously, complete missions. So, there is a lot to go with here, and most definitely a little bit of playing around with, obviously, the borders. You could genuinely make yourself a very good photo to be honest a nice little edited photo and if you do something for social media around street fire this could be a great tool obviously then if you want to end it you uh, normally reset it or you obviously finish off then obviously that will save and then you can go back to your business